The Olympics, a time when over 100 countries meet in one location and compete for the coveted gold medal. For many athletes, competing in the Olympics is only a dream, but for Stephen Lambden, it's his ultimate goal and he'll stop at nothing until he wins first place in the martial arts sport of Taekwondo. Taekwondo, a Korean martial art emphasizing strong, flexible, and fast kicking and punching, is a fairly new Olympic sport, having been in an event only since the Summer Games of 2000, even though it has been used in Olympic demonstrations since 1988. For 19-year-old Steven, competing in the Olympics has been a dream of his since he was a child, and now he plans to make that dream a reality. I've been practicing for about 14 years, and I've been wanting to go to the Olympics for about 14 years. <laughs> his entries, it's going to be easy for him. Nobody can stop him. He's going to win gold in the Olympics, and he's going to bring back to Team Pinarock. Well, I think he has a really good chance. Just because he spars, he practices every day, he spars really well. But he still has a lot of com uh, tough competition out there, so I think he has a pretty good chance. But Steven couldn't get to where he is without his coach and instructor, Jeff Pinrock. Master Pinrock, who has practiced Taekwondo since 1980 at the age of 8, has worked with Steven for many years and is, not, and is his most trusted coach. How long have you coached slash instructed Steven? Uh, probably about 13 years now. 13 years. Okay. Do you think he has the potential to participate in the Olympic Games? Uh, definitely. I mean, he's a, he's pretty strong, and for being only 19 years old, he's already gone a long way. So I think he has great potential to go to, as far as he wants to. What type of training are you having him to get ready for the Olympic Games? Right now, he's uh, right now he's actually doing a lot of speed drills and a lot of uh, conditioning training. Um, I, not that much in, inside the gym, but I mean, more more so outside the gym right now. So he doesn't have that many training partners here at our, at our own facility, so I kind of have to send him other places to, to do some training with some other people. So. Um, have any other students who can show have as much potential as Steve? I have a few right now, actually, that are pretty good, and I think uh, give him a couple years, give him a few years, they're, they're going to be right up there with him, especially with his guidance and uh, you know, mentoring. He'll be they'll be right there with him. Uh, no, I think, uh, well, he's, he's come a long way. I mean, he's been, since making the junior national team, everything has just kind of steamrolled for him. He's been national team a few times now, so I think the really the next step, the only thing he needs to do is, is probably to do make that Olympic team, and I think he has a great shot. Coming up in February, I'll have to win in an Olympic qualifier. And then from the Olympic qualifier among the United States contestants, I have to go to a uh, Pan American qualifier. That's just this entire half of the world. Confidence for this Texas-born Texas athlete is very high, as well it should be. Training and working out for more than 20 hours per week, Landon shows no worries or signs of slowing down. Hardworking, competitive, strong, motivated. He's a big guy and he can kick your butt. He's motivated and dedicated. I swear, like every day he sits there and works out. Like, you know, he also does stuff on uh, the side, goes to workouts, goes, you know, all around the world, everything. So he's pretty much motivated. And he's ready to knock down all challenges to stand in his way. One thing is for sure, the 2008 Summer Olympics in Beijing will be a fight to remember. Oh, I'm ready. That's it. This interview's over. I'm done.